Hello Aries, happy new year. So this is the bonus reading that I'm doing for you guys. So it's gonna be a different spread. I'm asking different questions, okay? Let me know if you guys like this reading so I will do it next time. You can let me know down in the comment section down below. Um, positive feedback, negative feedback, whatever. <laughs> okay, let me know. So I can just tally up kind of in my head like if you guys like it or not. Um, so you start. So I'm going to start with the tarot. Okay. Universe. The person that's on Aries mind and Aries, what is the current energy between them two? So I got the strength card and the ace of wands. Okay. So I got two main energy for this one. Um, I feel like the current energy is someone is holding back, but they both of you guys want a new start okay um also what i'm getting from this is that someone is loyal to you they're loyal and they're committed of starting something with you okay that's what i'm getting major fire sign particularly leo okay universe the person that's on aries mind what do they want to say to aries king of cups what they want to say to you is that they love you Okay, they have a lot of emotions. Um, they love you. Okay, and that's what I'm getting. It's like pure emotions. Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what are they hiding from Aries? Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what are they hiding from Aries? Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like what they're hiding from you, I feel like they're hiding from you is basically they have issues with commitment but i feel like they are trying to change for you okay this is somebody who have issues with commitment issues with connecting on a deeper sense like i feel like this is somebody who went through traumatic stuff in their life um they don't know how to love because i think what they've been through was really like it was hard for them you know like they don't know how to love they never saw it they probably experienced trauma and they probably never tell you this. Um, but they're trying to free themselves because you mean a lot to them. That's what I'm getting. Like, you know, they they have a lot of love for you. Universe. Um, the person that's on Aries' mind, how do they feel about Aries? The person that's on Aries' mind, how do they feel about Aries? Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, how do they feel about Aries? The Hierophant. Okay, how do they feel about you? They definitely feel like you are commitment material. They feel like you are husband material, wife material. Um, and they're definitely waiting for things to get more, much better with you, okay? They definitely see you as kind of like the end all be all and they feel like things can work out with you, okay? This person could be a Taurus. Universe. The person that's on Aries' mind, how do they truly feel about Aries? The person that's on Aries' mind, Two of Wands and the Ten of Wands in the verse. So how do they truly feel about you is that they definitely see a future with you and they feel like they they feel like things can work out between you and them. If there was some burden type of energy in the connection, they feel like this burden can be lifted and it can, and can work out with you and them, Okay. Universe, the person that's on Aries' mind, what is the intentions with Aries? Their intentions, I'm not going to lie. I don't like their intentions. <laughs> I, and I noticed with this spread, it's like when you think you got it, you know, you got the, the nooks and crannies of the, the reading and the energy. It's like some pr surprise energy. Um, their intention is not good. Their intention, seven of swords, nine of swords. Their intention, I feel like they know they ain't ish, basically. This person know they ain't ish. They know they're going to do something stupid. They know it. They play games. This person play games, okay? They know they ain't ish. They know it, okay? But they, it's like, f for you, they want to change. Like, for you, they want to change. But they know they ain't ish. That's what I'm getting. They really do. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Universe, um, what actions, the person that's on Aries mind, what actions would they take with Aries? Chariots. Ooh, what the hell? What is going on? 
I'm sick of them. This is this is too much. This this spread is funny as hell. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Okay, so the actions that they're gonna take is is BS. I feel like what their action is they are going to, you know, I feel like if you don't talk to them, if you're not communicating with them, if you're not initiating stuff, they're going to go, they're going to just be single. They, they're they going to, even though they love you, I this person have relation, like this person have commitment issue. Like they're really afraid of intimacy, not sexual intimacy, but they're afraid of like real intimacy, commitment. This is, this person's afraid of commitment. They're afraid of it. And they know it. They know of their issue. Oh my gosh. Okay. Eight of Wands. I feel like there is going to be communication, but I feel like with them, it's like, if there's no communication, then they're going to move on. Like, it's weird with them, okay? That's what I'm getting. Like, okay. It's interesting. <laughs> Wow, okay. Universe, cut for the chariot, the nine of pentacles. Universe, cut for the chariot and the nine of pentacles. Universe, cut for the chariot and the nine of pentacles. Universe, cut for the chariot and the nine of pentacles. Universe, cut for the chariot and the nine of pentacles. Universe, cut for the chariot and the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. I feel like what they're going to try to do, they're going to see if they can try to move on if you don't communicate with them. And when they keep on moving on, they it's like... It's like eventually they're going to come back. That's what I'm saying. Eventually they're going to come back and be more serious during that time. Universe, clarify nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, and be more serious because they feel like you are their true love. They're going to, it's like they're going to, I feel like they do know that because they are trying to change their ways, but it's their fear, is their trauma that's holding them back. This is somebody who's not healed yet. Okay, they're not healed, but I feel like eventually they are going to come back to you. Okay, like they're going to do a U-turn because it's like they know you are their true soulmate. Okay, this person just got issues. <laughs> so the signs, Leo, Taurus, okay, Gemini, Cancer, okay, Aquarius as well. So for this spread, I'm going to ask, I'm just trying to pull the energy more. I'm going to ask, um, I'm going to repeat the question again. I'm going to ask... Um, what is their current feelings for you? Universe, give me a three card spread. The person the person that's on Aries mind, what's their current feelings for Aries? Soulmate. Yeah, they know that you are their soulmate. And they they probably gonna converse that to you if they haven't yet. They just know. I feel like they're just with the BS games right now. Yeah, childish. They're they're children like they act like a child. Okay, this person could be a Leo a Cancer, Aries. Um Express your love. And that's why I feel like they are going to do that soon. It's just right now they are, you know, pretending like they're moving on. But in reality, they're not, you know. They do want things to get better with you, honeymoon and playfulness. But this is somebody who got issues and they got to work through it. They're afraid of commitment. They're afraid of intimacy um, outside of sex, basically. Um, and I feel like this person went through traumatic stuff, and that's why, you know, and they never talk about it. I think that's what's going on. It's unhealed childhood issues that become adult drama, basically, you know, um, relationship dramas. So, yeah, this person needs some form of healing, okay? Okay, and we got Leo here again. So, universe, give me a three-card spread. Um, what is the person that's on Aries mind? What is their true feelings for Aries universe? The person that's on Aries mind, what is their true feelings for Aries? So I got Sacro Chakra. Okay. They feel like you are very magnetic. They're very passionate about you. Okay. Universe, give me one more card. I got spiritual strength, truth, and temptation. I feel like you bring out the their best I feel like you bring out their better self, basically, their best version um, when you guys are together. Like, you bring that out, out of them. They feel like you make them a better person. But at the same time, they're tempted by worldly stuff, okay? That's what I'm getting. So this is somebody who needs some more balance in their life with the truth card because they're like a balance. So I feel like they need to experience something where it brings that clarity. 
um, where they're not so tempted by worldly stuff, fleshly stuff. Um, this is somebody who lived their life fast, okay? They're into illegal stuff. Um, they get money illegal. Um, they're into, like, stuff that's just not good for them, okay? And I feel like they need awakening, basically. Um, and obstacle and challenges. So how they feel about you, they're very passionate about you. They feel like you bring out their, their best selves um, when they're with you. But they do feel like this is a hard relationship for them because, again, this is a relationship that's different. It's a soulmate connection. They're not used to it. They're used to, like, people not loving them. They're used to not loving people. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. This is somebody who's not evolved or healed, okay? Okay, hey, universe, give me a three-card spread. What messages do you have for Aries and the person that's on Aries' mind? What, what's going on with their, with them? Universe, what messages do you have for Aries and the person that's on Aries' mind? What's going on with them? So I got hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic. Options, not showing hand and gambling. I feel like with not showing hand, it's more like not showing true feelings. And they probably do have options. But they know you are their best option, okay? Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Aries and the person that's on Aries' mind? What's going on with them? So I got lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to have an epiphany. They're going to have some form of awakening that is going to transform, transform them then later transform transform this connection okay and it's going to happen unexpectedly you probably thought this connection is done and over with and then they have like <laughs> they have an awakening where they want to make things right universe give me one more card what messages i got not enough okay frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues and jealousy yeah this person make you feel like you're not enough um, or you just feel like this is not enough, like you want something better. Um, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making you memories. Yeah, they're definitely missing you. They're looking at your social media, they're looking at your photos, okay? Yeah, universe, cut for not enough. Soulmate, butterfly. What else I got? Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, so with soulmate and butterfly, I got soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract, relationship, evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like they're going to have an epiphany moment where they need to heal themselves. And once they heal themselves, that's when this relationship will get to the next level, okay? But a lot of you guys feel like this is not enough. Like, when it happened, like, probably you don't even want them no more because it took some time or what they put you through, okay? But I feel like this connection is deep. They have a deep soulmate bond to it. It's just that this person has not evolved. They need to heal whatever issues that they um, dealt with, okay, and dealing with. They need to heal that. And once they heal that, when they heal themselves, that's when this connection gets better, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> that's the reading that I got for you, Aries. Happy New Year's. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading for me at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.